My name is Natasha Chong and I am the Learning and Qualifications Executive at ABRSM. So we decided to redevelop the percussion syllabus because we periodically look at refreshing all of the syllabuses and the assessments um, at ABRSM. Um, we do this to make sure that we keep up to date um, and make sure that we are creating content that is engaging to the candidates when they're learning and to the teachers for when they're delivering uh, the syllabus. I think that the most exciting thing about the new percussion syllabus is how accessible and well-rounded um, the, the uh, offer is this time round. Um, and particularly there's the introduction of multi-percussion pieces from as early as grade three and the snare drum repertoire lists. Um, but we also have single subject options now. So we have four percussion subjects, which you can take uh, where we used to have an original just one. Uh, those single subjects are for snare drum, timpani or tuned percussion, uh, where you can do all of your exam elements uh, just in the one area. We know that um, percussion instruments can be the most easy to come by in the classroom, like a snare drum or a simple glockenspiel, uh, and also really difficult to find like a set of four pedal timpani um, and big marimbas. <laughs> and so um, depending what you have access to, uh, you can work up the different uh, subjects at your own pace. Um, but there's also the combined percussion, which is where you play across all three um, subject areas. We start with a lot of decisions on how we were going to have the single subjects um, assessed separately and the reasons why we wanted to make it accessible for people to take the percussion exams um, one subject at a time, if that was appropriate for them. Um, we asked teachers and performers for uh, repertoire suggestions, loads of ideas. We had hundreds of pieces. We went through a, um, went to look at just tons of percussion music in, in the shop to see what was out there. And, um, and there are real pieces from different consultants who they said they love teaching that one. They know that their students really like to play it. There's really important techniques uh, to hear in those particular pieces. And um, we narrowed it down from there. Um, our team worked really hard on deciding on the progression route of the difficulty of the pieces and of the supporting tests. I think that when people see the new percussion syllabus, I hope they're going to be excited about how different it feels and the kind of variety that we have um, in there. We hope that they will really embrace playing multi-percussion in particular and um, extended, extended techniques. There's glisses on the timpani and there's four mallet pieces for tuned percussion. There are loads of really great pieces. We went through tons and tons of repertoire to find um, pieces that we know that students might be hearing their peers playing and be aiming to play that we've managed to select. We've got uh, loads of different composers that, we're, um, that we've selected for the repertoire lists and all these new commissions. There's big names like Ney Rosaro, who's um, um, really revered in the tune percussion world. And we've got pieces of his that have existed including his uh, movement of the concerto from marimba, as well as he's written some pieces for us at the lower grades and minor journeys at grade four, which is really fun. Um, Andrea Vogler has written a really fun piece for timpani, uh, which is called What's for Tea Tonight? And that's just really evocative of um, the, the rhythms, the sounds you can uh, make and the, a story you can create with that. And that's just a lot of fun. My advice to any new percussionist uh, coming into the ABRSM percussion exams would be to really enjoy what you're doing, embrace the music and the variety of the instruments that you have at your disposal and to really try as much repertoire as possible. Um, really go through the syllabus, there's, there's options for loads of different types of instruments and combinations and stuff and, uh, and I think you should really enjoy that. We really hope that learners and teachers who are seeing the new percussion syllabus will really enjoy the variety that they um, have at their disposal in the repertoire. The lists are much longer for each instrument subject um, that, than they used to be. Um, and so now if you want to play three really varied timpani pieces, um, you know, that option is there. There's 
four mallet pieces in the tune percussion syllabus from grade five and so um, you can really explore that that technique and um, multi-percussion will be really new and exciting and really fun we think that that's fun to play and it's really fun to watch and see performed um, and so really just to to showcase um, the abilities of percussionists and we just really hope that that they'll enjoy it.